But we begin with that story you'll see only on two tonight. Children missing from a Houston CPS facility. Good evening. I'm Bill Biesa. Hello, I'm Dominique Soxa. Houston police tell us that they have had dozens of missing person cases linked to Harris County Youth Service. It's off of Chimney Rock Road, and all of this has happened in just the past month. Brandon Walker spoke with one mother who has no idea where her daughter even is tonight. Brandon. Yeah, Bill, by no means is this an easy issue. On one end, you've got CPS, and they tell us that their facility here, the emergency shelter, is not a juvenile detention center. And so with that being said, they can't make a child stay here if that child chooses to leave this facility. On the other end, you've got the parents of those children who have run away, including one mom of a 12-year-old girl who tonight just wants to know where her daughter is. She is in grave danger. Dana McDermott Durflinger is a mother with a broken heart. I'm very scared for her. Her 12 year old daughter, Skylyn McDermott, is missing. She is on the streets, and there's no telling what is happening with her. Skylyn's story is a troubled one. Since October, she hasn't lived with mom. She's been in CPS custody, much of that time spent here at the agency shelter in southwest Houston. It's where we bring our children that need placement. It's also, it seems, a place from which some children waiting to be placed, Skylin included, choose to run. She said she didn't like it there. Here's a rundown of calls HPD made to the facility last month. Within that time, there were 79 calls about a missing person. Some of them involved repeat runaways like Sky Lynn. I want so much for her to get the help that she needs. I was counting on CPS to, to do that for me. We want our kids to stay with us, but we can't force them to stay. That's the challenge, says CPS. If only it were an easy one, they say. You can't make these kids stay. It's not a jail. They're not inmates. They're children. They are children, says Dana McDermott Durflinger. Her message to her child? Please be safe. Call me. Let me know that you're okay. Let me know that you're alive. And I love you. A mother's plea tonight. CPS adds that it works with Houston police, hence those calls, to locate those children who are missing and to bring them back to that facility. With that being said, if you have any information that may lead to finding Skyland McDermott, you're asked to call the Houston Police Missing Persons Unit. That number on our website, click2houston.com. On the southwest side tonight, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News.